Hello, Baking Monsters. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's Throwback Thursday. A few weeks ago, I made a very exclusive and delicious recipe for my friends of Nielsen Massey. It's a mango, vanilla, and green peppercorn shibu tart. So the first step is to put the butter into our mixer, and we're gonna add to it some golden caster sugar. We want the mixture to be lovely and fluffy and very creamy before we start to add our other ingredients. Right, so we got the perfect texture. It's fluffy, it's pale, and very creamy. So speed number one, and we're just gonna add our egg yolk. I'm gonna sift in some plain flour, and I've got as well some baking powder. So that's very important. It doesn't matter, even if your recipe doesn't mention it, always sift your dry ingredients. That will get rid of any little lumps of hard flour, which you don't want to find into your cake. Finally, I'm going to add some vanilla. Just going to combine it very quickly till we've got a lovely sticky dough. You can see it's got a nice soft dough. So I've got some little rings here, been slightly greased, and I'm just going to put the mixture inside roughly half a centimeter deep. Just make sure you level the dough. This need to rest in the fridge for at least 30 minutes and that's going to be ready to cook for 30 minutes in a preheated oven at 180. So now we're going to make the first step of our creme shibouste. So first of all we're going to make the base, egg yolks, golden caster sugar, give it a good mix together. I got here some corn flour. I'm going to bake it in some hot milk on a stove till it's nice and thick and later on when it's cooled down I'm gonna add some special ingredients to it. Right, so my creme pâtissière is now completely cooled down and I'm just gonna smooth it up with some very soft unsalted butter. Right, so my butter now is all incorporated to my creme pâtissière and now let's bring some flavor to it. So I'm gonna add two teaspoons of pure vanilla bean paste. Just gonna fold that together. Right, so all our butter now is incorporated and the cream is lovely and smooth and glossy. The only thing we need to do now is to make an Italian meringue, which we're going to fold into this custard. So first of all here, I got some egg white. So my egg white are now nice and stiff. Time to add a sugar syrup. Basically, water and sugar, take it together to the heat, and that's the recipe for a classic Italian meringue. There we go, lovely and fluffy, very smooth, and this is cooked as well. So now I'm just gonna fold it into our custard base. Here we are, this is smooth, it's perfect, ready to build our dessert. Here I got some mango cut in small cube, and I just in a skillet caramelize them with some golden custard sugar. And just to bring a little bit more freshness to it, I'm just gonna chop some fresh mint. Let's get the rest of our ingredients and let's put that dessert together. So we've got our creme shibouste and here we've got our Breton biscuit. Just gonna put a generous serving of the mango filling. Here I got some green peppercorn. I know it's a bit extraordinary, but trust me, that heat was gonna come through with the sweetness of the mango, gonna work perfectly. So I'm folding that into our creme shibouste and now using a palette knife I'm just going to smooth it up on top of the mango. Just to bring some extra flavour again and a little bit of crunch on the top using kitchen blowtorch I'm just going to caramelise the top. Just move it around slowly across your creams and that's going to give you a lovely colour and at the same time it's going to bring some flavour as well because all the sugar inside is going to start caramelising. So now ready for the big reveal. And this is ready to serve. If you don't impress your friend with that, I don't know what to say. Happy baking. So I hope you're gonna try it. Leave some comment below. Let me know what you like, what you think about it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because my subscribers are better bakers.